Hello and welcome to the Green TV Show. This week we'll be looking at a spider invasion, these fun guys, and Rob will be eating some insects. Rob, what have these got to do with packaging? They're just mushrooms. Yeah, well, it's actually quite interesting. IKEA are looking into alternatives for polystyrene, one of them containing mushrooms, these guys. Ooh, I bet there's not mushroom in the box when they're finished. Mm. Uh, yes, it's the 100% biodegradable fungus-based packaging, which you essentially just grow in moulds over a couple of days, like mouldy moulds to any shape you like. The US firm Ecovative have been producing the product and letting the mycelium grow around clean agricultural waste, such as corn stalks or husks. Yeah, and once you're finished with it, it just rots down in a couple of weeks, which is a darn sight better than the thousands of years it takes for polystyrene. Rob, have you heard about the World Wide Web? Yeah, I was on it earlier today. Great, great. Well, this is just the web. Okay, look up. Look up. Yeah. So, Sydney are currently experiencing a spider boom. Hooray! They are everywhere, festooning the streets with webs. The warm, moist start to this year has been perfect for our eight-legged friends. Yeah, so spiders like Redbacks and Golden Orb and St. Andrew's Cross are, are all in abundance. They've also been eaten up. All the insects have also boomed at this time, including cockroaches. Yeah, it's really good to see kind of like an ecosystem in action and everything, and, and we do love them, really. Okay, so the Forum for the Future have just announced their Protein 2040 Challenge. Yeah, and protein is a very, very important part of life, but actually what you choose to eat can make a massive impact on the planet. Hit me with some facts. Um, a quarter of the world's CO2 is actually comes from farming. Yeah, half of all the protein grown is actually given to livestock as feed. 70% of the world's water from rivers and lakes is used for agriculture, which is massive. And I mean, there's tons of other facts we can talk about, but the bottom line is, guys, this is really serious. Yes, and because we have a growing population, by 2050, we're going to need to produce around 70% more calories across the world. So we think the forum are going to be looking at things like mushroom-based alternatives. And things like cultured meat, which is actually grown in the lab from stem cells. And, of course, insects as well. They breed quickly, and there's a lot of them around. So here we are! Ta -da! Bugs! Really high in protein I'm bugs. Sweating. At least there's no legs. Oh, right, the wings. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> they they kind of taste like a cracker or something kind of toasty, but it's the mental images of them, really, that, that kind of put you off. I think a future probably is um, looking at ways of, of making edible food from insects. Yes but probably not in their au naturel format. No, I think it's going to take a little bit of convincing people. I think it is a feasible form of protein in the future, more, more in, this, in the flour form. I've really enjoyed doing this segment of the programme for yeah. you guys. Um, really enjoyed it. Can you see how much joy there is in my eyes right now? The world's largest floating solar farm has just powered up in the UK. It's got 23,000 panels just floating around on top of uh, the Queen. Elizabeth II Reservoir in the outskirts of London, that is. Yeah, okay, all right, party pooper. The solar panels work just as well, and it's a great use of space. It's brilliant, it doesn't even affect the reservoir. No, the energy will help provide uh, clean drinking water for about 10 million people in Greater London and in the south of England. Okay, so thanks for watching the show, Flashback. Um, it's been a great one, interesting stuff from yeah. Flashback. Yeah. Um, so I've got a bit of a joke for you okay. back, um, from the show. So great. Okay, so what um, type of... Oh, they're arachnids, I think. So this is pretty obvious. What type of arachnid is really good at espionage, Rob? Flashback. I don't know. Uh, a spider.